Our parents are always telling us to be confident. But is it really that simple? Confidence isn't something you can buy at a store. But what is confidence? It is to take belief in your value worthwhile and your capability to do activity. It's a skill that you develop over time. But why is confidence important? That's because that eventually, if you have enough confidence, it will lead to success. Turn thoughts into actions. That's the main secret to confidence. But how do you get confidence? Well, here are my tips. First one, it's your social treatment. If you let people treat you like you aren't worth anything, then you aren't worth anything inside of yourself too. The way people treat you is the way you'll treat yourself eventually. Two, Listen to a song with deep bass. It promotes the feeling of power and it just gives you confidence in general. Before you do something, picture success. If you, it will be much comfortable for you to, get, to be successful if you already know what it feels like. Four, believe in your ability to improve. If you don't believe in yourself, why should anyone else believe in you? Five, practice failure. Yes, it sounds weird, but if you're already used to failure, then why are you so afraid of it? J.K. Rowling went, got, the, uh, got the night 12 times, but she's now really, really, really popular. Is it here or she? It's a, okay. She? She? <laughs> she's now very popular because, because, of, because she published Harry Potter. The first thing you should do is posture. If you keep your posture erect, if you keep your posture erect, your head highs, your shoulders back, and are open gestures, you are, and you have open gestures, you will show people that you're confident. Showing your hands means that you have nothing to hide. Showing your hands. Yeah. Two, your smile. Being your smile is much more approachable when you're much more approachable when you're smiling. In fact, the human eye can spot a smile about 300 feet away. That's like a football field. It'll make you more approachable and more comfortable to talk to. Three, the way you're standing. If you're always tapping your feet, then uh, you know, you'll obviously show people that you're not confident. Um, if you're moving the feet a lot, then it'll also show you that you're not confident. When you're, when you're sitting. Um, you, must, you have to be comfortable. You have to be leaning back. The power pose for boys is putting your head behind your, back, uh, behind your head. And the girls, putting your hands on your lap. That will show confidence. Sitting at the edge of your chair, chair they'll make you seem anxious. And moving your feet while sitting, they'll also make you seem anxious. Moving your feet while you're sitting, also being anxious. And when you're locking your ankles, that means you're nervous or you have something to hide. Your arms say a lot about you. Your arms say a lot about you. If you have both hands in front of you, that will show people that you're that you're confident. If you have both hands behind you, that will also show people if you're confident. If you put both hands in your thumbs and show both your hands in your pockets and show your thumbs, that means you're also confident. But if you put your entire hand inside your pocket, that means that you're not confident. Um, talking. If you talk at a steady pace, that will show that you're confident. But if you're talking really fast, that will show that you're anxious and you're trying to just get it over with because you're nervous. Also, it's, um, um, it's a sign of confidence to pause in between your sentences. If you don't pause in between your sentences, that means you're nervous and you're trying to get things uh, done quickly. That's all, and I'm confident that you'll all be able to be confident too.